panel. Now let's take a closer look at our contact form. Native show it contact forms are currently made up of separate elements. You can choose to embed a third party contact form like Honeybook, Dipsado, MailChimp, whatever service you like to use with our embed code option. And we have a lot of great help docs specific to some of those most popular platforms that our users tend to use. Here you'll see if I click on the name field and go over to text properties, you'll see that enable input is checked. This is crucial. Enable input must be checked for any field you want a client to be able to input text into. You can also choose to make it required in that it has to be filled out for the contact form to be submitted. You can also choose in subject. So if you want their name or their date or what have you in the subject line, you can choose to do that here. If I click on the email field, you'll see we have it set as reply to so that you can reply to their email address and you can label each of these to be whatever you want which really helps you keep things straight over here in the site panel otherwise it can get a little bit confusing now most important is our send button if I click on our send button here and go down to click actions you'll see it's set up to link to a canvas this canvas and our next view if I click over to our second canvas view Again, that's our thank you message there, and you can customize this however you want. But in addition to being linked to the next Canvas view with our thank you message, you'll see this item here, which is the most important thing on your contact form. So always, always ensure that your submit contact form option is checked for that send button on your contact form. To add a third-party contact form to your website is really easy. I'm using MailChimp for this example. All I have to do is set up my contact form and format it to my liking here in MailChimp. Once I've created the form to my liking, I can simply click here, copy this entire code, and then head back over to show it. So with the contact canvas selected, I choose our embed code option here, and then click on embed info and custom code. I just paste in that MailChimp code, and I'll just drag it out to size it 